Hey everybody, I'm Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com, and this is the next Saturday with Stacy, YouTube class number 466. Welcome to everybody who is new to our channel. Welcome to those of you who have been around forever and ever and ever. And I hope that this full length commercial free technique based class brings you either inspiration or a tip or a trick or a technique that maybe you didn't know about product that you haven't seen before that that you get excited about or product that you haven't seen before where you go oh yeah i have something just like that i'm gonna go grab that and try this right now so our classes are meant for all levels of crafters from the newbies who are just tuning in for the first time all the way to those of you who have been crafting like i have for years and years and years <laughs> So we do have a retail store. If you're ever in sunny California, please come find us in Southern. We're in Southern California in Santa Clarita, California. Actually, Canyon Country is what it's called. But we would hope to have you join us at any time. We'd love to see you. And we also have the online store. We did have a customer come in today earlier. Her name was Teresa and she's from Arizona and she was FaceTiming with her friend Donna, who I think was in Montana. <laughs> So I got to meet Teresa live and in person and Donna, who was, I believe, in Montana. We had a lovely conversation, the three of us, even though Donna was in her phone, in the phone. <laughs> Teresa showed her the whole store. It was great. We had a great time and they really just lifted my spirits for the day. So if you're ever local, please come in and say hello. We're open Monday through Fridays. Not Saturdays and Sundays yet. We don't have enough staff. So now I want to move on to winner, winner, chicken dinner from last week. Of course, on YouTube, we always do two winner, winner, chicken dinners every week. And these are people who posted comments on the last YouTube. And if you are joining us on Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Sunday, California time, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern or 4 p.m. in the United Kingdom, we're live chatting. We live chat every Saturday morning. 8 a.m. sunny California time, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. the United Kingdom. Those comments don't count towards being a winner, winner, chicken dinner. You have to post below. See, there's a place down there to post below. You put your comment there. We'll approve it. SMS guy James is the one who approves the comments. So you won't see it show up right away. Give him a couple days. He'll approve your comment. And then we have software that randomly selects our winner winners. And I have two of you today, two lady ladies. I know one of these names. I definitely know one of these names. I'm not sure if I recognize the other one, but I know one of them for sure. Have I ever met them? No, but I know them. Okay, our first winner winner who has received a $25 gift card to Scrapbooking Made Simple is Deborah. Deborah Reader, congratulations, Deborah. We're so happy for you. $25? Yeah, free is good, right, Deborah? You're like, wahoo, could you? Are you pausing? Are you backing it up, watching it again? Did she really say my name? Yes, I really did, Deborah. It is your turn to be a winner winner chicken dinner here. I am so happy for you. But this next name, I also know, not because I've ever met her, I'm sure I haven't, but I print the orders here. I mean, you know, chief bottle washer, there's just a few of us here and we all have to do all sorts of things. There's, there, there's definitely no um, ivory tower here. <laughs> Last week I came in to set off the bug sprays the, <laughs> to bomb the place. We, we do it all here. Everybody pitches in where, where you need to help. So, um, so right now I'm doing most of the printing of the orders. So I see your names. Hello, Peggy Davis. You have been with us for forever. I know, I can't imagine we have ever met, but I feel like I know you. I know what you like. I know the products you like. <laughs> I feel like I know you so well. I'm so excited for you. Congratulations, Peggy Davis. You are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. You along with Deborah. Well, I hope you take that $25 and find something that is going to make your heart happy. Okay, are you ready to do the winner, winner, chicken dinner dance? Easy peasy. You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, cut you for you. I just, I'm, 
I'm thrilled for all of our winner winners because it gives them an opportunity to either, I know, buy staples that you need like adhesives and things like that, or be adventurous and try something you would never try because it's not going to cost you anything and maybe branch out just a little bit. And that's kind of what we're doing today. We're using something. Well, I'll get to that. All right. So what do I have for you today? Well, I have a manufacturer that we used to do business with and now we do business with again. And you know, hmm, how do I say it? How do I? So my dad, my, and sorry, I'm a talker. Uh, if, during the premiere, you're going to have to just bear with me. If you're watching this after the premiere, you can zoom right past me. And when I tilt on down, you know that I'm getting ready to start the class. But m my dad sold life insurance for Prudential. And he came back from Oregon and Washington with my brothers and sisters. I'm the only one who was born here in California with the exception of my mom. And he was hired on by Prudential to literally sell life insurance door to door. And he started um, close to downtown Los Angeles was his territory. And my dad was like five foot one, <laughs> you know, 98 pounds dripping wet. But my gosh, he took that territory and he made it work for him. And you know, when I was little, when I was little, I would always meet my dad at the door when he came home. I'd hear his car, he had a Volkswagen Bug. <laughs> and I'd hear that thing roar up and I would run right out the door. Now, yes, I loved my father, but it's also probably because he kept, a, he must have kept a stash of goodies in his car. And when he would open the door, there would always be a piece of double bubble or a Smarties in his pocket for me. That's just the way my dad was. So, and as I got older, you know, not, I didn't go through it, so you know, I didn't expect anything as he came home, but every now and then he'd treat with something because there was a C's candy store right next to the prevent, the Prudential office on, um, on Devonshire and Balboa, mm -hmm. C's candy store. So every now and then he'd bring them a little, you know, like a C's candy lollipop or whatever. So anyway, I, I, do, I do recall my dad coming home and I was a little bit older and you know, my dad was always such a upbeat type of guy. Not a, not a glass half empty, uh, he's a glass half full or was a glass half full type of guy and a go-getter, driven, holy smokes, artichokes. So I remember him coming home and he was definitely not in a good mood. And <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I'm just gonna hang back a little bit. <laughs> And I remember him sitting at his desk because he had this work desk that was in the family room and we had the TV and he had a, just like a little makeshift office. No walls. I mean, it was all open. So I could see him because he sold life insurance. He would work at night doing things for customers. And, and I saw him just kind of just kind of sitting there kind of slumped over and my dad never slumped over. And maybe I was watching the Brady Bunch or something, you know, and, and, and I looked at him. I said, I said, Dad, what's wrong? You know, what's wrong? And 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 he looked at me, he goes, you know, and he, he I'm a kid. He's not gonna wanna burden me with anything. And he's like, no, everything's fine. And, I, and I'm like, no, what's wrong, Dad? What's wrong? <laughs> and he said, well, pull up a chair and I'll tell you. Okay, so I pulled up a chair. And he said, I got a new boss today. I'm like, oh, okay, got a new boss today. That's like, for me, it was like getting a new teacher. Okay, and he goes, you know, I really liked my old boss and I'm not sure how, you know, I'm not sure whether I'm going to like my new boss or not. I'm, I'm hoping I do. I really, really want to. I think by then he already knew he didn't like his new boss, but he wasn't going to say that to me because I really, I really miss my old boss. And he goes, but the, 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 the thing is, you know, things change, things change. And he goes, you just, I'm going to have to learn to roll with the punches and I'm going to find a way to really, you know, get along with my new boss. And, and I want you to know that if that happens to you, then you just roll with the punches. And, you know, I probably took that conversation in and out and let it go. And I'm like, well, okay, dad, I, I'm, I'm hoping you like your new boss. I don't think he ever liked his new boss. And in fact, I think that was one of the catalysts that propelled him to, to really push to excel at Prudential. I think that boss didn't like my dad 
And so my dad wasn't going to just sit around. He was going to work harder and smarter to promote up and out so he could be a boss of somebody else. And my dad always said, I want to, I want to treat my, you know, my, my, my employees the way I always wanted to be treated. And I think it was that one boss that really just kind of squashed on my dad. So, I mean, the moral of the story was, you know, when he said, you know, things change from one day to the next. You got to be prepared. You never know what's going to come your way. And, and, and then you need to respond. And so that's kind of what today is. Um, it's kind of things change. You got to be prepared. You got to be ready to respond. And so I have got Crafter's Companion for you. And we used to carry Crafter's Companion years ago, but then their styles changed and we, our style changed and we moved away from each other and they really did become very much, um, they're, they're very prominent on HSN, which is an amazing company for crafts when they have their craft days, absolutely. And it just seemed like we were going in opposite directions for so many years, but things change. And well, Kimberly, who's a really good friend of mine, used to work for Hero Arts, but now she works for Crafter's Companion. And she reached out and it's like having a new boss at Crafter's Companion. Wasn't crazy about the old boss. <laughs> But okay, so, you know, we kind of, they went their way, we went our way. But now I have a new boss at Crafter's Companion and it's Kimberly. Kimberly, who I know and love and adore from Hero Arts. Ah, yay. <laughs> so, you know, it's like full circle. My dad saying, you know, I got a new boss today and I'm not so sure if, if how, uh, you know, how things are gonna go. I really liked my old boss. Well, we're just so thrilled that Kimberly has come into Crafter's Companion because that opens up a door for us because she knows us. She knows our customer. She knows what you want. And trust me, when you see the bundle she put together for you, huh, she said, drop the mic, walk off the stage with this bundle. So we are excited to welcome Crafter's Companion back to Scrapbooking Made Simple. And most importantly, we're thrilled that we still do business with Hero Arts. We didn't lose anything there. And yet we gained a little bit with Kimberly moving over to Crafters because I know that she is always going to look out for your best interests. And that makes my heart happy. All right. So today product, I've got a I don't know if it's a global launch or a US launch of some of their product. I have got a bundle that is so sweet and so amazing. Again, drop the mic, walk off the stage. I've got a product that I have never seen before and when I saw it, my mouth dropped. So just a lot to bring you, a lot to show you, a lot to share with you and to say, welcome back Crafters Companion. We're so glad. <laughs> I got a new boss. Now, Kimberly, let's be real. Okay, I just wanna be clear. <laughs> you, you don't get to boss me around too much. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tilt on down. We're gonna get started for today. And, um, and you, gotta be, you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready and prepared and able to respond. And, and I think that that's what we're doing for you today. So, you ready to get going? Me too. <laughs> Down we go. Kimberly's like, oh. <laughs> if, if I get to be Stacy's boss, why who could you? <laughs> or she's like, oh yeah, I don't ever want to be her boss. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, so how cute is this? This is Crafter's Companion. The die the stamp darling right we used Sizzix card bases we used paper from creative expressions look at this is that the cutest thing ever 
celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. And the little bling floating across the top. Card is Sizzix, the card base is Sizzix. The die, which is just one die, is Crafter's Companion, and the paper is from Creative Expressions. And then here, look at this. Right? Cute. Crafter's Companion. Creative Expressions is the paper. And the card base is Sizzix. So, I've got lots to show and lots to share with you today. And I think I'm going to start off super simple. I'm going to start with some pens. And then I'm going to move away from the pins and into the dies. And then we're going to come back to the pens. So we're going to make a whole big circle here. Okay? All right, so, <laughs> which one? Oh, so Crafter's Companion has new pens out. Let me go back a little bit. And they're under the uh, Violet Studio brand is what they're under. Violet Studio brand. So they've got markers, dual tip markers. So we have the 30 pack, and then we have two 12 packs. The 30 pack has all the colors that are in the 12 pack, pack plus six more, okay? So I don't want you to be confused. If you buy the 30 pack, you're buying all the colors they have. If you buy the two 12 packs, you're gonna be missing six colors that in are included in the 30 pack. Then they have fine liner pens. These are super easy to use. A lot of journaling uh, folks use these. And then they've got glitter markers, which are more shimmer than glitter, but we'll get there. The pricing is unbelievable. I want to say the price for the 30 pack is $19.99, all 30 colors. The price for the 12 pack, um, it may be $9.99, somewhere in that range. For the 12 packs, I want to say the glitter markers are around $15 and the fine liners are somewhere in the $8 range. But we'll, we'll get to all of that later. I'm going to play with the, I'm going to put these off to the side. I'm going to play with the fine liners first. I'm going to show you those first just so you can see what they are. And then I'll do the glitter markers and then I will do the dual tip markers. So when I say dual tip, are these like a Tombow marker? The When I get to them, yes, they're very much like a Tombow marker. Let's see. Open, open, open. There we go. So fine liner markers are popular, like I said, with journalers or anybody who wants to do any kind of detailing, dots, dashes. Can I get a color out? They're inexpensive. They are just a simple. Stacy and Michael. Because you're actually watching this on our 27th year wedding anniversary. <laughs> Stacy and Michael. So it's just a nice pen. Again, dots, dashes, any little detail work that you want to do, and all the fun colors. I think the fun colors is what makes everybody love them so much. They're just simple and easy. So that's a fine liner. Do you need to have them? Well, if you like to do writing, journaling, if you're a journaler, yeah, you probably are going to want them. Again, if you want to do any kind of detail on your die cuts or your paper, yeah, you might want to have them. Really up to you. Or if you are working with kids, these are great because again, they get all the colors without them being overly expensive. So quickly, fine liners, easy to use, great colors, fine lines, done. 
All right, then we're gonna move over to their glitter markers. Now these are a little different. Let's get these open. And let's pull out a color. These are a marker that you need to shake. Can you hear the little noise? Always wanna shake before you use them. And in the beginning, the nib has no color in it at all. These you kind of have to pump to get the color going. They work just like a regular marker and they call them a glitter marker. I think they're probably more a shimmer than a glitter. I don't know, I'll show you. Let's get a couple of them and do a couple of them and see what we get. So give a good shake. The nib is empty. Give a press. Pump it down so that it starts to fill the nib. And then you are good to go. And again, whether you call them a glitter or a shimmer, I think that's up to you on how you see the effects of them. And I don't know if I can get my camera in there so that you can see them shine and shimmer. Let's do one more. How about... Give it a shake, shake, shake. And a press, press, press until that nib starts to fill. And then you can color away. And you've got that little hint of sparkle got that little oh I think that one's good you you've got that little hint of sparkle in there it's not like glitter it's like shimmer <laughs> not whoo it's like ha oh, like zen shimmer zen glitter so it gives the you know it gives the appearance of just a little bit of of a pop without it being too much Sometimes too much is too much. This is definitely not too much. And oh yeah, when it dries, it dries beautiful. So their glitter markers are easy to use. Love the colors, love the price on them. And we're gonna be using these a little bit more today. Next, I wanna bring out their dual tip markers. So this is the 30 pack. This pack runs $19.99 for 30 markers. That's crazy. Um, we carried Tombow and we just could not compete. We just could not, could not compete with the Tombows out there. We couldn't compete with Tombow selling them on their own site at such a discount. It just was what it was. So when I saw these, I'm like, holy smokes, artichokes. And I would have never seen these had Kimberly not made the jump from one company to the next. A whole door opened for us that, that we were so excited to be able to walk through because she knows Scrapbooking Made Simple and she knows what our customers, just, what you're gonna love. So these are their dual tip markers. If you have Tombos, do you need these? Absolutely not. No, you've got what you need. If you don't have Tombos, do you need these? Well, for 20 bucks and the I want it all we're gonna do is the three of these. So the liner, the glitter, and the dual tip. And oh, the price we put it out for is crazy. Now you're saying, well, why didn't you do the two 12 packs? Well, these 12 packs are already included into the 30 pack. We will have these 12 packs so that if you just wanna order a 12 pack to try them, absolutely, we'll have those. And again, I think they're like $9.99 for the set crazy pricing wonderful pricing but i'm a girl who needs to have all the colors when i was growing up i had 
my all my pens were lined up just like this they all had to be pristine I try I just that's who I, I still am that way with my markers so I've got my trays in here and what do I want to play with Let's just pull them all out what do I want to play with well first off let me show you the tips because these are different than anybody else's markers normally you have a brush tip and a bullet nib not here with their markers you have got a brush tip yes yes but then you have a smaller finer line brush tip that i mean you can really get really fine so not a bullet you've got a whole nother brush tip on the side I like that. That works. I, I, I've never seen anything like it. I love them that you have both brush tips a little bit finer, a little bit more bold, and they're just easy to use. Now they are a water-based ink, not an alcohol-based ink. So they're a water-based ink, and when you use them like a marker, well, that's how they behave, pretty much like a marker. Ooh. Are they blendable? Yeah, not so much, but that's Tombow as well. You can't take, so you can tell they're not alcohol because they didn't go all the way through. You can't take a Tombow marker and do this and then grab another color and try to blend them together. Can't do it with a Tombow, can't do it with these. But can you blend these? See, it just nothing happens. Even with a blender pen, even with it just isn't, that's not how these are meant to be used. These are meant to be used either just as lettering or how we normally use them, which is using water and palette painting. For that, yes, yes, you then can blend and move and, and you know make your color what you want it to be. I could take some water here take my marker here grab a paintbrush take some of my water and blend it right into my ink and that's gonna let me start palette painting and the more water I add the lighter color I get and the less water I add, the more intense my color gets to be. And I can palette paint. So this, and I'm just adding water to it. That is the same color as this one right here. But look at the difference. Look at all the different levels of saturation. It maintains the same hue because it's the same ink, but the saturation level is different, giving me light all the way down to dark. And could I go darker than that? Sure I could. It's just a matter of how much water you use. So if you're not great with alcohol ink markers or um, you're not the you know that's not your forte and you want to use one pen to give you I'm just intensifying that color at the bottom one pen to give you all of that well, that's what these markers do. And again, they're by Crafter's Companion. These are not Tombow markers. And they're so affordable and they're so easy to use. And the colors are simply amazing. Look at this. Oh, that just speaks. Hello. 
I like these colors. Mm -mm -mm. So you get 30 pens. If you, $19.99, unless you do the I want it all, and then we've put them on a really good sale. Uh, between the, the 30 pens, the glitter markers, and the fine liners. So again, it's just all about adding, mm -hmm. adding your, your water and your color. Let's pop this guy out. So let's see what it looks like all on its own. a really pretty marker but then let's see what we get when we add some water so usually my first go round, I try to do it really light start really light and just kind of get a base down Look at the color difference. And then you can go back in and add less and less water. And that's going to intensify your color. And I'm just trying to make a nice ombre for you. So you can see you have options. So that's where I wanted to start today was to give you an idea of what these pens are and what they can do. They're easy to use, they're affordable, and if you don't have something like this already in your crafty stash, well, you might want to think about it. They're a great product from a good, you know, a, a company that has been around forever and ever and Thankfully, we're the first ones to launch these. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it gives you the opportunity to play, whereas Tombow, in fact, we just got an email from them, Tombow is having a price increase on all of their products, like 5 to 7%. So um, you might want to, if you're a Tombow person, you might want to go out and start collecting your Tombow pens. And if you just want markers to play with sometimes. Well, as opposed to $2.60 or $3 a pen, here you've got $30 for $19.99 with two dual brushes on them. All right, so that's where I wanted to start, just to show you this product. And one other item I want to show you, because we're going to be using colored pencils today too. I'm going to be using the Brunzil colored pencils. So when I saw this, I nearly lost my mind. Has that, have you guys seen this before? Hello, who knew? So our friends at Arc on Wild have a cute little kit that comes in a little plastic bag for colored pencils with Gamsol. Um, look at this. When I saw this, I'm like, hello. It comes with a pencil sharpener. Who knew? So inside my little trusty dusty colored pencil kit. I have a place for all my stubbies. I have an eraser. I have two sketch pencils if I want to sketch. I've got openings for other things if I want to put other things in. I've got the sharpener for the stubbies. Hello. Love this. Had no idea it even existed. So when I saw it, I knew we had to have it. And then we're going to give you an option. We are going to bring in their Gamsol, but then we also are going to keep our kits from uh, Arc on Wild and Friends because they're a great partner and their Gamsol is a little bit different. You, their Gamsol is smaller. You don't get quite as much, but 
their top has their top has um, a little spongy on top of it so that you can take your stubby and go right into it. This does not. There's no little there's no little um, sponge where you can dip your dip your stubby because of course this is compressed paper and you don't want to get it too wet with Gamsol because it'll just absorb all the way up. So the nice thing about the Arcon Wild is that it's got a little dome on here of a sponge that you can just dip this into. This one does not. So today when we use it, I'm not going to take off this entire piece. I'm just going to poke a hole in it. I'm going to poke a hole in it. And I'm going to leave the liner on there because if you don't seal up your Gamsol well, it can evaporate. It's also known as mineral spirits. So not sure if, um, if, you have, if you know it as Gamsol or mineral spirits. So that's how we're going to use it today. And I would probably put a little, couple little cotton swabs in the bottom and then I'm going to dip it in. I don't have any cotton swabs, so we're just going to go with it the way it is. Now I'm going to move on to the dies and we're going to start die cutting. And I think I'm going to start with Celebrate. Love this. This is just a little bit of happiness right there. And then you just put your stubby away. So I'm going to, and I'm going to be using this. So I'm going to start with Celebrate. And not only are you getting the dies, but you're getting the, um, the stamps to go with them right in the same package. These retail for, I think, about $13. We have five different words. So 13 times five, five times three, um, thir yeah, 13 times five, that would be 15. So $65, around $65 for the set. We're gonna do the set for $49.99, where you're gonna get just to say, and then the stamps to go with it. You're gonna get my friend and the stamps to go with it. So the stamps to go, this one, um, you mean the world to me, you're the best, you're special to me. So stamps to go with it. I've got birthday and the stamps are wishing you a happy and then happy, eat all the cake, wishes are sent to you. So you get the die and the stamps and then with love. And the words that go with, with love are great and great big hugs, from all of us, from me to you. So it's not just a die set, it's a die set and a stamp set. And here are the stamps. So with Celebrate, we have your wonderful news, it's time to celebrate your success and celebrate in style. And they, as is, for $13, that's not a bad value at all. Actually, it's a really great value. But Kimberly knows you <laughs> and she knows you like value. <laughs> so she put five together <laughs> and then let it let us bring it to you for $39.99. That's a wahoo could chew. So how do they work? Well, you have options with these dies for sure. I take it. And I cut it out. I want something a little, this one's not quite, not quite wide enough. Let's do it. That one back. So I'm just going to cut it. I've got my Big Shot machine right here. I'd like you to all admire <laughs> my, I broke down and opened up a new set of clear plates. Um, hello. <laughs> Why did I break down a set and open up a set of new clear plates? Well, I told you last week that, um, that, uh, yeah, the keeper of the secret, Kevin, the keeper of the secret sauce was coming from Ellison and ta-da, it's Taylor. And, um, and we had Jen Long here too. They brought me some new clear plates. 
yay. So I thought, okay, now I still have my, this is a new, a new um, do not cut plate. But I thought, okay, they brought me some new ones. I'm going to splurge and open it up and enjoy it because my plates were really getting, I mean, they're not done done yet, but they're getting there. This is, this is what your plate looks like when you first get your machine from Sizzix. And this is what your plate's going to end up looking like after you've had fun playing. <laughs> And it's okay that it looks like this. In fact, I'm not throwing this away. I'll use it until it cracks in half. But I thought, oh, today maybe I'll break out a new one. Also, if you remember last week, I schmooshed. Look at I schmooshed my solo shim, and I did a really good job of it. Well, I, I made a joke that if I if I could have, you know, if Kevin knew, he'd bring me a new one. But of course, by the time you had seen that, the meeting had already happened. And yes, we had coffee and donuts. So yay, it went good. And I showed him this and he's like, oh, no problem. How to fix that? And I'm like, well, okay, how to fix that? Um, he said, a pair of clippers or a pair of scissors. And you literally just cut off the part that got tweaked. So I'm cutting off the part that got tweaked because that's what that's what Kevin, the keeper of the secret sauce at Ellison said. He said, just cut it off. Okay, I'm just gonna cut it off. The part that got tweaked. And that's all he said to do. He said, keep using it. He said, I'll send you another one. I said, no, if all I have to do is cut it off, that's it. He said, just cut it off. Okay, I did. <laughs> now let's see what happens. <laughs> it's loved, right? Okay, so I'm gonna bring my machine on over and I'm gonna be using, let's turn it this way so I can, I'm gonna be using my base plate that comes with my Big Shot machine. I'm gonna be using my Solo Shim that I just gave a haircut to. <laughs> I'm going to have my brand new cut plate, my die, and a do not cut plate. And I'm going to send it on through. Now I'm not using a precision base plate. And let's see, oh that went through pretty good. Do I want to bring it back just for good sake? We could. I didn't rotate it. Let's see if that's going to be necessary. Yeah, maybe a little rotation would be good. So, oh, I just popped it out, but let's see if I can click it back in. Let's send it through this way. Or better yet, let's put it at an angle. Let's see if I accidentally double cut. Let's put it at an angle and send it on through. Oh, well that did really well. It likes it at an angle. Look at it, isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, so let's do it again. Only this time I'll do a quick rotate. And look at, boy, it just cut right into these brand new plates. Hello, brand new plates. And that's going to happen. Can you see? It's cut right into it. That's what happens with these plates. That's what they're intended to do. And if you want to keep the plates lasting longer, you flip. So I cut on this side. I can feel the cuts. Now I'm going to turn it over and cut on this side. And let's just grab another piece of paper. And I'm gonna run it through this way this time, and I think I'm just gonna do it at a slight angle. Just so that when it feeds into the machine, it has an opportunity to cut every little piece. Let's put my do not cut plate on top. A do not cut plate is a plate that I use that I try never to cut into because it doesn't warp, and that allows me to slide it through my machine really easy. Having two plates that are warped, 
you're then trying to push your plates underneath the roller to get it started. So if you keep one plate and mark it as a do not cut plate, and that's always the plate that is on top, if, that's, if you're cutting face down, you'll find that it's a lot easier to get it through any machine. Oh, and see, look at that on a first go round because I had it at an angle. And my little, my little solo shim that I kind of had to give a haircut to is doing just fine. And look at that. Talk about easy peasy. Now you have your options with these and I'm gonna pull out some card bases and um, you know, maybe I'll cut, I've got a couple celebrates. What else do you wanna cut? Let's cut another one. Um, just to say, how about my friend? My friend you don't see very often. And I have the die and I have the stamps to finish the sentiment. Let's see. Let's pull off my friend. And grab a sheet of paper. That looks good enough to me. How about to you? Bring my machine on over. And put it at just my paper at a little bit of an angle. And send it on through. So it's cutting into the paper, but if I want to snip it out, all I have to do is snip the edges. How about we cut it out of a patterned paper? And this week we have got two different patterned papers that I brought in from Creative Expressions. They're calling this a gingham Christmas, and I get the gingham part, and I love that it's not overtly Christmas, because when I flipped right through it, it's like, oh, I like that color, but I like that, oh, I really like that for guy, oh, I like that one too, oh, that one's pretty, but nothing was overly Christmassy, right? I mean, these can be used all year round. I love them, and then we brought in Dandelion Dreams. Ooh, I know, isn't that beautiful? So between these two, I thought both of these would work just really, really, really well with the, um, the dies from Crafter's Companion. So what if I took, what if I took that? Because we're gonna do a My Friend. And maybe your friend loves pinks. And let's do my plaid that way. And zoop off that little side. And bring my machine back on over. And let's cut it out. Again, I'm working with my base platform. I'm working with my solo shim. I'm working with a cut plate and then my die and my paper. Now these will go through a sidekick. They will, they're narrow enough that if you have a sidekick, absolutely give it a whirl. If you've got the extended plates, the Tim Holtz extended plates for sidekick, I would definitely give it a whirl and see. I think they'll just about fit or you'll just do a rotate and send it back through. So let's get this down. I'm gonna put it right at an angle. And 
and send it on through. And there is my friend. Now I can choose to snip it if I want to snip out my friend and I just cut it down to size or I can leave it. So let's say I cut it down And with just a few snips, I've now cut it down. What if you want to put it onto um, a card base? Can you cut into a card base with these and have your card automatically have my friend on it? Maybe. Um, so we picked a couple colors of Sizzix envelopes that seem to go well with the paper that is in the Gingham Check and the Dandelion Dreams. So we tried to find some card bases from Sizzix that would look really, really nice with these paper pads. And so we're gonna put those on a bundle for you. And I wanted all just the five colors that we picked to go really well with what art, what's in the paper pad. I think I will pull the thank you die because the thank you die is free if you get the bundle of the cardstock now or the the Sizzix paper. Now this is all Kimberly doing this. This is this is her wanting to give you as much as she possibly can for your value. And when I told her we were going to do the Sizzix card bases, she said, well, what if we gave them a die to go with it? Because then when they get the card bases and the die, they can start right away. So let's open up Thank You and let's see what we get. So Thank You is only going to come with the card bases. That's the only way we have it to sell. Let's see. Say uh, Just to say thank you for thank you for everything you do. Thank you so very much. So here's my thank you. And I'm going to do a card base. I don't know, pink, purple. So Sizzix is going to give you 10 card bases and 10 envelopes in each pack. They retail for $4.99. We'll have them open stock, but if you get the bundle, you will also get the free die that says thank you and the stamps to go with it. So will these dies cut through? Oh, you bet they will. Oh yeah, I think so. So let's grab the thank you and the card base. Flatten out my card base. Bring it on over. And this is where you're going to line it up where you want it. Now you could take a little bit of washi tape to hold it in place. You could use a magnetic platform if you would prefer so that it will lock in place with a magnetic platform. Nothing's going to move. I'm just going to use my regular platform, my regular base, because that is what the majority of you have. And I'm going to walk on the wild side and I'm not going to I'm not going to tape it in place. I'm going to guess that I'm going to be kind of straight, straight enough in my, my thank you. Put my plate over the top and let's send it on through. Now this is going as a straight cut. So, so the die is going to be parallel to the roller that's in your machine. So it may get a little bit of a thump. It may go a little, uh, a little tough to roll right there, but it went through pretty good. And I know because of Sizzix cardstock and their card bases, how thick they are, 
I'm going to have to rotate. Now I'm not going to try and move everything. I'm literally just going to pick up my, oh, don't be doing that. Kevin, it's stuck. Come on. Did I not give it enough of a haircut? Come on. Haircut on down. I have a feeling by the time I'm done giving this a haircut, <laughs> there won't be anything left of it. <laughs> All right, let's pick it up. <laughs> Kevin's like, just give it to me. I'll do it. <laughs> Okay, so this is where I landed. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna do a total rotate. Total rotate, and then send it back through. I'm gonna make sure I line up my, square everything up, and let's see what I get. Looks like it might need a little bit more. What if I tried it with a precision base plate? What am I gonna get then? So bring it on back. So I've tried it normally. And because of the thickness of the cardstock and that it has to go through straight, if I could turn this on an angle and send it through, it would have cut just fine. But because I want it straight on my card, I have to go in straight. So it's not getting the full amount of pressure that the machine has because it's parallel to the, the roller. So what if I just move out my bottom cut plate that's now cut into, and I replace it with my precision base plate. So a precision base plate is sold separately by Sizzix. It allows you to do more intricate dies, cut cleaner first go round, and it has instructions on one side. If you are about to cut and you can read those instructions. I need you to stop. I need you to just flip it over so that you can see the mirror. This is a chrome precision base plate and it's their last version, version three of their precision base plates. And I've had this one probably for two years now and it looks great. So I'm gonna put my die and my paper right back down. I'm gonna put a do not cut plate over the top but did you see there's no clear plate on the bottom? The precision base plate takes the place of my bottom cut plate. So you just set that one off to a side and let's see what we get this time. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> there's the good thump. <laughs> it's okay. It didn't hurt anything. It just makes a really loud noise. <laughs> There we go. And now it's cut into my card. So let's do this easy peasy. Let's pick another color. How about the blue? Or how about the, yeah, how about the blue? Let's see what the blue does. I'm going to start with my precision base plate. Do I want to use thank you again? Well, since it's the one that comes for free. Bring my machine on over. Put my card base down. my die where I want it, my do not cut plate on top, square up, and send it on through. Again, because it's going in parallel to the roller, you may get a kathump like I did. See, it wants to, it's going, hey, wait a minute, and you just got to work it over, and then there you go. Now, do I need to bring it back? 
Well, let's look and see. Nope. I don't have to rotate when I'm using that precision base plate. If you want to, just for good measure, you can, but it cut beautifully. First try. So I've got a couple thank yous. I've got a my friend. Um, how about we take, how about we take, how about we take the, the green, the pink? Well, let's do the pink. And let's do a with love. Now, maybe you want to save on this and you don't want it to be a whole card base. Maybe you just want it to be the front of a card. So I can take my trimmer or my scissors, cut this in half, now doubling the amount of paper that I have. And you're just gonna use your trimmer or your scissors and I'm gonna just trim it down a little bit on both sides so I get rid of that scoring option. And now let's grab the with love. Okay, sirens, hello, and my stamps. So now I'm playing with with love, and I'm not using the entire card base. I've cut my card base, ooh, okay. I've cut my card base in half, so now I have double the amount to play with. With love. Maybe I want it all the way down here. Bring my machine back over. Since I'm able to put it on a diagonal because my paper, obviously when it was a full card and with a standard Big Shot machine, I can't, I can't put it on a diagonal. There's no room. It's gonna go off my, my platforms but as a, just half of the card, now I can put it on a diagonal. So I'm gonna try and cut this without a precision base plate because now I am able to put it on a diagonal. So I've got my with love there and I'm just gonna rotate it just, I mean, ever so slightly. Okay, can you see I rotated it ever so slightly? I didn't do a big rotation, but it's also not going in straight on. I'm just trying to give it a little bit. I'm keeping it where I want it. Give it a little bit of a rotation so that when it feeds into the machine, this corner is going to feed first and then it's gonna pull down. And all we can do is try. Put my do not cut plate on, sandwich it, and let's see what happens. Oh yeah, see no big, yeah, see look at that, no big thump at all because it wasn't feeding in straight as a parallel to my roller. Let's pull it on back. I don't know if I needed to rotate. We're gonna look and see. with love. So now what to do with this? I don't know. We have a whole bunch of these. Um, hmm. I think maybe I will start with celebrate. I'll go back to celebrate and we'll start there. I'm going to hold these off to the side. And remember when I started way back when with just white paper and the celebrate?
this is where we start adding to everything. This is where we start embellishing it. And I've got two of them, so. I think I'm gonna start first with colored pencils. And you're like, colored pencils? Yeah, colored pencils, right? So I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna take, hmm, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my red. Do I wanna do red? I wanna do blue? Too many decisions. Pink? All right, I'm gonna take my red and we're just gonna go for it. So normally when we're using colored pencils, we've usually stamped something and we're gonna go in and color in that image. This time we're gonna change it up. We're gonna use a die cut. Why can't you color a die cut with your colored pencils? Absolutely you can. And I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of color to my bottom of my C. And I'm just scribbling. And do we wanna do celebrate in all one color? My E. And my L. my E. Okay, I think that's good. So I've added a little bit of color and you can see it almost, it looks like crayon. I mean, when you color with colored pencil, that's kind of the way it looks. When you put it down, it looks like a pencil, right? That looks just like a pencil. But when you mix it with the Gamsol, that's where everything changes. So to do that, I need my stubbies. And I love the kit because it has everything in it. I had no idea this exists, but it's got your stubbies, it's got a pencil sharpener, it's got the sharpener for your stubbies, and you are good to go. So this is a paper stubby, and they look, they've got all the different sizes. This is a paper stubby, and it is compressed paper that when you get it wet, with something called mineral spirits or Gamsol. It takes what looks like crayon and almost it seems to melt it without melting it. It's not hot. So my Gamsol is open. And again, I'm not gonna take off the seal at all. I'm gonna leave it there. I pushed a little hole into it with my tweezers, and then I'm gonna put a little bit in a cup. Now, ideally I would have cotton balls in here because then it just makes it easy to dip in. So I'm not gonna put too much, but I'm gonna shake it out like it's a little bit of Tabasco sauce, a little bit of soy sauce, and then I'm gonna cover it up because I wanna keep it as airtight as possible because it will evaporate. Now I take a little bit, and you can see, look at it just went right up my See, it went right up my, my um, compressed stubby because it is paper. And then I come over here and look at what it does. So it takes that pencil look and makes it look like a paint. So if I'm over here, I need to leave negative space because I'm gonna draw that color up and I'm gonna have it fade out so that it's light on the top and darker on the bottom. And if I color the whole thing, well, then I'm gonna have all that one color. But if I leave negative space, I'm able to pull that color up with my Gamsol. So I'm gonna go in there and then start pulling. Let's see if I can wrong way. Pulling that color up. Okay. 
and I've got a nice little ombre look just that fast it doesn't take much and it doesn't take talent <laughs> And if I need to add more pencil, that's where this is different than a watercolor pencil. I can go in and add a little more color right away. I don't have to wait for anything to dry. I can go in there and add that color in right away. Just a little bit. Just to give myself kind of an ombre look. I know half of you have turned your sound off. <laughs> it can sound like nails on a chalkboard. And just pull that color up. And then let's go. And just pull that color up. doesn't get much easier than that and we're not doing a stamped image which is typically where most people use their their colored pencils is with a stamped image but why can't we color our die cuts with it I see no reason why we can't blend and we started and in no time at all we can have the entire thing done it also gives you the opportunity to then go through and let's, what happened let's find my other celebrate hello oh here we go it gives you the opportunity to go through and let's do this one red and this one yellow And this one, blue. So instead of die cutting every letter out in an individual color, we can just go in with our colored pencils. And this one, Pink. And purple. And you're able to create the color scheme and the color family and the story that you want to tell. Now for every color, I have to either resharpen or use the other side. I can't go color to color. So I, I can use this with my red. But I'm not gonna go back in and try and use the red with my yellow. I mean, it really is just that easy and just that fast. So I'm going to go to the, my other side and I'll use my yellow there. Now let's get some Gamsol on here.
Now I've got my yellow going on. Now I've used both sides, so I need to sharpen this. And this is your sharpener. Not a pencil sharpener, but some sandpaper. And on here is lots and lots and lots of sheets of sandpaper. And you use it and you get rid of the color that was on it. And then you move along. Okay, that works for me. A little more Gamsol in here, shoop. And I'm talking a little bit, I put a drop in there. I'm just gonna pick up what was in there and let's move on to my blue. And I might be able to work with my red and the pink. Okay. And I might be able to get away with my blue and the purple. And away I go. And if I need to add more color, I add a little more color. Just a little, very, very light touch. Just so I can blend it out and pull it out. And I keep going. It's easy to do totally effective. But now what if you wanted to add some pizzazz to this? Can I add some pizzazz? Let's add some pizzazz. That's where the glitter markers come in. So I've got that red glitter marker right here. And I'm going to shake, shake, shake. And I've left enough room so that I can use this kind of as a palette because I know I'm going to trim all of that off. Shake, shake, shake. Remember, it's not loaded yet. You gotta press down, pump down, and get that nib filled with all of that inky, glittery happiness. Now it's ready to go. And I can come through here. And again, I'm not gonna worry so much. I'm gonna put some on here. And I'm literally going to take my finger and I'm going to smudge. Just going to smudge. So I put some on and I smudged. And now I've got shimmer along this bottom here and no shimmer up here. And I've kept my ombre. So I'm going to put a little bit down here on my E. You see, I put a little bit on my E, and then I'm literally just going to pull it up with my finger. Just a little bit. Pull it up with my finger. So now I have got shimmery goodness on my C and my E, and now I can go into my L.
and it sparkles and it shines. Again, it's more of a shimmer than a glitter in my opinion. And it's not, it's not a lot. It's not like, ooh, look at me, look at me, look at me. It's like, oh, hey, hello. I'm a little special. I'm, I, I'm here to celebrate, but I'm not here to, you know, <laughs> take over the party. <laughs> And it's just easy to do. Now, can you use the glitter markers on their own? Sure you can. I could have gone in here and just colored with glitter markers, but I wanted to keep that really cool ombre look. And could have I have done it here? Sure. Let's do the red. not to get my finger on the other one which I just did but that's okay do the red and then whoo hello I don't know what the gold's gonna look like but you know what it's only paper right only paper here let's go back just a little bit so pump 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 Get it going. Shake, 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 shake. Okay. So. Color, color, color. And schmush. And you're like, oh no, you went below. That's okay, don't worry. When we cut it out and we add paper to the front of it, you're never gonna see that. Not a problem. If I accidentally went, oh no, it's not a problem at all. We're gonna take care of that when we die, or when we cut this out with our scissors and then add it to, add a piece of paper on top. Next we have blue. Shake, shake, shake. Pump it so that it's get, it gets down into the nib. So you can see it. See, there's no ink. There's ink. So I'm pump it until it fills that nib. And a little bit down here. And then, oh, and I just got it onto my yellow. Well, I'm gonna have to go back and fix that now, aren't I? There we go. Zoop! Fixed. And then my pink. Just a little bit of shimmer and shine. I'm running out of fingers. You could take a Q-tip to smush it. If you're not one that is that likes to use your fingers, okay. And again, it's just adding a little something. My last one is my purple. I have no idea what this purple looks like. We're gonna find out together. Oh, it's pretty. Purples are always a wild card for me. Because I never know if they're kind of brownie or more red and blue. Brownie, like more eggplanty. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty color. And then I 
I can trim it out. And you're like, but wait, <laughs> you said you were gonna hide all of that under there. I know, I know, I promise I will. Let's see. What color card base do we want? Hmm. Maybe we want white. So what if I took white card base? Well, we're going to try. I'm going to do it on white. We're going to see what happens. So trim down and trim down. And I think I like it. What does the celebrate? Um, celebrate your wonderful news. And let's take some sticky dots and we're going to stick it on down. Maybe we want it on. No, I'm just going to do it on white. Sticky dots are a sheet of stick. Uh, they've got hundreds of thousands of little adhesive dots on them. Hundreds of thousands of little adhesive dots. It's an easy way to adhere down something like this where where there's not a real good area for you to add double-sided tape. So we sell them 10 sheets, you get a full, this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet, 10 sheets, and you use them again and again and again until they are all gone. And let's put it down. And I put it down backwards. Did that the other day too when I was playing. So sticky dots allow you to pull up, maneuver, reposition, but at some point they become permanent. So as if I have it all done, and then I can come in and decide what paper I wanna use. Well, that's really pretty, right? Or that one. That one maybe. I'm going to take this piece right here. Straighten it off. You think that's where I want it? All right, and then let's take another piece from another piece off the top.
And now with this one, sticky dots are already holding it down. This one, all I have to do is go zoop. Zoop. And a little off the bottom just to straighten it out. I'm just going along the card base. Done. And then I wash, rinse, and repeat. Get a straight line going. Although that one needs to be up a little higher. That way it covers up my little mistake. There we go. Now you don't see my mistake. And this one will come right down there. So you don't need to see my mistake. Although I think it needs a colored backing. Ooh, pry up, pry up, pry up, okay. Nope, let's add some sticky dots to it. And up we go. Cover my little mistake. Remember I said don't worry about this? Because we're just going to cover it right on up. You have a little hair cut off the bottom. Look at how easy is that. And then I could do the top piece if I wanted. And poof. They're very simple to use. And remember, we haven't even played with the one that you've cut into. We cut it straight out of the card. What if I took and, what if I took and cut my friend? Let's see. With love, thank you, my friend. What if I took my friend and I cut it out of, what color do we have? So, I want that on white. Okay, let's cut it out of white. Bring my machine on over. I'm going to use my precision base plate because I am going to cut straight through. It's going to be on a parallel with my roller. So I am going to not, I'm going to remove my clear plate, the one that I've been cutting into. I'm going to replace it with my precision base plate because I have no way of rotating my paper. If I could rotate my paper, I wouldn't need that precision base plate. But since I can't rotate my paper, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Now let's go my friend and send it on through. Make sure I am squared up. That seems pretty good. Send it on through and let's see what we get. Oh, there we go. And a little kathump, not the end of the world. And then I'm just going to roll it on back just for ease. 
I know it sounds bad, but it's not hurting your machine. And it's not hurting the die. And bam. My friend. And then I take... And now I have it in the gingham. So all I have to do is grab my sticky dots. Sticky dot my gingham. and line it right on top. Talk about fast and easy. These would make darling bookmarks. I've got my friend. And then I could maybe take a piece of <sighs> that's really pretty oh decisions decisions i'm always so bad at decisions well let's just go with this one because it's the top one different ways of using these dies. So many different ways. So let's play with the markers a little bit. I'm going to play with the dual tip markers a little bit. And let's see, so I'm going to put the Gamsol over here and this over there. And let's play with the dual tip markers. So I've got my set of dual tip markers. And you can use them very much like those, the colored pencils, only instead of using Gamsol or mineral spirits, we're going to use just water. There's your set of 30 for 20 bucks. <laughs> Unless it's on the I want it all and then it's even less. Okay, so um, I've got a my friend. Um, what if I did a with love in the white, maybe? Let's cut a with love. And let's just cut it out of white. And because I know I'm gonna snip it out, I don't care what kind of paper I use. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe hide it. We'll see. I'm just gonna cut it out of white and we're gonna go from there. When you have a product that gives you multiple ways of using it, that just makes the value so much better. Now, because I'm able to rotate this, in fact, I can even snip it down so I can rotate it a little bit more. Because I'm able to rotate this, I don't need to use my precision base plate. I can just use my cut plate. So I've got my base plate, my solo shim, my clear cut plate, my paper, my die. I'm going to rotate my paper. I'm not going to rotate my die. I'm going to rotate my paper. 
and I'm going to send it through. Square it up and send it through. That sounds really good. I like it when it cracks like that. It sounds good. <laughs> that gives me hope that it was a one roll. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Don't you love it when that happens? <gasps> if you're not a die cutter, when you become one, that will be like, like the best thing ever. So now I've got my with love that I can put right over the top of this one. And let's see, let's play with our markers. Um, this soft pink is really beautiful. Let's see how soft this soft pink is. So I'm going to take and I'm going to palette paint. So I'm going to need water. I'm not going to need a stubby. I'm not going to need mineral spirits. I'm going to need a, some water and a paintbrush. And I'm going to do what's called palette painting. So right on my craft mat, I've got some color right on my craft mat. And then I add a little bit of water off to the side. Remember I did this earlier. And I go in and I pick up some of that color. And I'm going to give I'm going to give this a just a little light wash of pink. I'm going to do the whole thing a light super light wash of pink. if this is going to be too light of a pink but you know what it's only white paper let's just try so I've given my love just a super little light wash of pink that way everything's got a little bit of pink on it every place has got a little bit of pink then I can come back and start intensifying my color and again, I don't know how dark this is going to get. It's a super light pink, so I'm going to add some more color here. And I'm going to go in and with less water, pick up that color. And come back in to try and add to that saturation. So that I get that little ombre look. Look at how pretty and soft and lovely that is. Add a little bit more down. A little bit of water. And let's do the V. Now this doesn't take a huge amount of talent. It takes a paintbrush, some water, and a dual tip pen. Add a little bit of color, a little bit of water, so we do this all the time when we're using stamps, but we don't often palette paint our die cuts or use Gamsol and uh, colored pencils on our die cuts. We're so used to grabbing them for stamps, but not other things. And it's beautiful, and it's fast, and it's easy, and it's effective. A little bit of, so, I mean, think about all the shades that you get out of this one, one ink pen. Just by diluting with water.
and I am not an artist. And you saw that I'm just kind of getting in there and getting it done. And then if I really, really wanted to, I could come back and add just a little bit of the straight color kind of down at the bottom with a little bit of water just to even make it a little darker down there just to even give it a little bit more of a shadow just a little bit I need to have some water on here because you can't let it dry a little bit of that color down here and just a little bit of water to make it blend in a little bit of color down here and a little bit of water just a tad just a touch just to soften it and I'm just giving some extra weight down at the bottom with that shadow the darker it is at the bottom the brighter it's gonna look at the top Well, that goes really well with that pink. That is for sure. That's going to go beautiful with that pink. For sure it is. So let me do these really fast because I just can't not finish. So I'm going to go in. I'm adding some water and I'm just scribble, scribble, scribble. Getting it wet. And I'm just going to do an all over pink wash. All over. See, all over. Just a nice pink wash so that everywhere I look has got a little hint of pink to it. See, just a nice pink wash. Super fast, super easy. Then I go back and start adding my color. And darkening up that saturation working from the bottom to the top. And I'm just going to move it along as if you and I were sitting down and we're doing this together at the table and having a conversation while I while we're going. Start at the bottom and work towards the top. Until you've got the saturation that makes your heart happy. And there's no blending color, there's no questioning do these two colors go together it's not alcohol inking we're just using water and if you're more comfortable with the pencils well you know you have that opportunity too So there's my with love. Oh, that's not going to work, Stacy. <laughs> there's my with love. Now, what if I trim it out? Hmm. I wonder if the pink is going to be, if it's just going to be too pink. Hmm. Well, let's just I think it might be too much pink, but that's okay.
you probably would use a trimmer. I'm a freehander. Oh, I don't know, with that soft white border around it. Pretty, right? And then what do you mount it to? That's up to you. You want to mat that against a white? Look at how pretty is that? And it didn't take any time at all. The colors are easy to use. Let's put my pink away. Let's get Let's get a bold color. Let's get orange. Woo, woo, orange. And let's see what I have in my orange. All right. And I've got my friend. And let's do orange. Hmm. So. Scribble, 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 scribble. Water. I just want to get a nice coating of orange. Kind of everywhere. Really light. Just so in case I miss a spot, I know that there's some orange there. I'm using the Turbo Mister from Couture Creations. It's like the best mister I've ever used in my life. It holds a ton of water. Oh, it might have gone too dark up there. The mist is super fine. Yeah, maybe a little dark. Oh well, we're just going to go for it. It's only white paper. Okay, so I went a little dark up there. We're gonna see what happens. Now let's start adding my color. And could I color this with just a marker? Yes, I could just color it in and it would just be this really bright orange. That's the color I'm starting with. Pick it up. And start at the bottom and work my way up until I get that ombre color that I'm looking for. Or maybe you wanted a solid color. You just don't want it a solid orange. Well, you could do the solid, absolutely. It would just be a little softer than that bold orange down there. And I'm just going for it. Do you have word dyes already? Have you thought about painting them as opposed to cutting them out of paper and then paper piecing them together? go really darks on the bottom. Really, 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 really dark. Really orange. That way my tops are always going to look a little a little lighter.
trim it out. What if I took the orange glitter pin and added that to the top of it? Because I wanted a little extra color, a little extra shimmer. Shake, shake, shake. Color, 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 smush, smush, smush. Ooh, that looks good. Ooh, smush, smush, smush. Now, in a lot of the samples the girls did, they used these glitter pins to literally make dots and dashes. Hmm, a little wet. Might need it to give a little second to dry. Yeah, my paper's a little wet. I might want to give it a little time to dry from all of that water. See, this isn't wet at all over here. Yeah, a little wet. Ooh. Dot, 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 dot. Smush, 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 smush. Dot, 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 dot. Smush, smush, smush. Dot, dot, dot. Smush, smush, smush. <laughs> talking and I could just go and go and go and it would do the whole thing so it's up to you do you want the super light ombre color do you want it bold and shiny I don't know options are plenty do you want to work with the pens and use some water Or do you want to work with pencils and Gamsol? Do you want to cut into your paper, right into your card base, and make it just as simple as can be? I could take this, leave it just as it is, back my card right there, Put the rest of the sentiment thank you for very or thank you let's see what does thank you come with um just to or just to say thank thank you for everything you do put a little bling on it and you're done you can do all of those things all depending on how you want to color Totally up to you. Pull that. Well, we didn't even put that one down. Take this one. Ooh, see, it's cementing. Ah, there we go. <laughs> it's all up to you how you get it done, how you want it to look. You, you color it with whatever makes your heart happy and then you layer it any way that makes sure easy. Yeah, see, look at that one's almost, that one was almost dry. Lay down the paper the way you want it. But can you cut more than one? Ooh, let's see. So let's grab a card base and let's see what we get. Um, how about the green? We haven't opened the green yet. Can I cut the dye more than once? Ooh, it might be by the hair of a chinny chin chin. What if we did the, the thank you? 
If we can get thank you three times. Or maybe we use the, which one haven't we used yet? No, not just to say. Birthday. Why don't we try birthday? Can we get it to go three times? Well, all we're going to do is try. Let's bring it over. Now, because I can't rotate, I'm going to bring that precision base plate back. So I've got my base plate, my solo shim that has had a haircut. <laughs> my base plate. I'm going to open my card base up. And I'm going to put my first one down. Now, I'm not going to tape it. You may want to. And then a do not cut plate. I'm just going to see if I can get three of them to fit. Hold your breath. Ready, ready, through it is, there it is. And just for good measure, let's just bring it back. There it is. So I've got, ooh, that looks so good. <gasps> okay, birthday. Open it up, down, Ooh. plate, close it up, hopefully I didn't move it. And send it on through. Birthday and birthday. And then back. And let's see. Holy smokes, is that as close as you can? <gasps> birthday, birthday. And yeah, that didn't hit anywhere near the trash can. Birthday. Okay. Can you see the value in the dies for that price? You've got a whole card front here. So now there are companies that sell a die that will do something similar to this. It's a whole size. You run it through once and you get the whole card front, but it is not this price. And you can't do just the birthday by itself. Ooh. You are going to either use the magnetic, well, no, because the, you need the precision base plate, so you're going to tape it down in place, use sticky grid, whatever it is that you're going to do to keep that in place, or you freehand it like me. Whoa! <laughs> okay, yeah, my heart's a little happy. <laughs> and then... I don't know what do we put behind it do you put just white behind it i love these papers <laughs> all right come on i 
I don't know, too much, too hard to see, right? It needs, yeah, it needs to be just plain. I agree, it needs to be just plain. So then what if I took a white piece of paper And what does the green look like? Or what does the silver look like? Last but not least, let's see what this darker gold looks like. Now that I've opened every one of the glitter markers. <laughs> hmm. Nope, don't like the gold on there. Take a little piece of the fallout. actual green on there. I thought I wouldn't like it. Hmm. Let's try the silver and see what happens. almost like it's not even there but it is that's what I want I'm taking that silver glitter pen and I'm just schmoozing it on just about halfway just to give a little bit of shimmer and shine Just a little bit of shimmer. Oh yeah, just a little bit of shimmer. In fact, I might even just do it by my hand. It's easier for me to see where I'm putting it. Oh, look at how pretty. Here, I'll show you in just a second. It looks like one of those pens. Just so it's, do you see how subtle it is? But look at what we did with that dye. Oh, I really do like the, the shimmer. A little bit more on that age. It just adds a touch of something. Sometimes that's all it needs is a touch of something, right? And I don't know if I would, I could put a white mat in there. I could leave it green because my card base is green. Just leave it as green. I don't know. Your decision. I think the plaid is too much. I like the color combination, but I think it's, I think it's too hard to see. I don't know. You decide. But look at that, one, two, three, on the Sizzix card basis. It doesn't get much easier than that. And the, the options are, it's all about the options. All about the options. Do I wanna go in here? And with my darker purple, right on my card base, 
So I'm going to put a piece of white paper in there just so I don't get it on the bottom. A little bit of my purple. Wipe up my orange. <laughs> okay, a little bit of my purple. Ooh, that's a pretty purple. A little bit of my water. My paintbrush. You know what? I'm going to move this so I can be more centered. There we go. So let's get my purple again. And let's cut this down. Maybe that will help too. Zoop. water right onto my card base and it's just going to dissolve into that purple of the card base Just grab that purple and take it right on up. So now I'm doing tone on tone. Tone on tone. Need more purple. Get more purple. Tone on tone. It doesn't take much to dress these up. And before you know it, Look at what you're doing. Tone on tone. Just adds that little something. Just that little something. It might even be easier for some of you just to literally hold it open. Up, oh, water. And just paint it while it's in your hand. So simple. And we're just using markers that are very similar to a Tombow marker. And we're palette painting. And if I wanted to, could I go in there and just color? Maybe I don't want an ombre look. Maybe that's not what I'm going for. Could I go in there and just use my markers? Sure.
And if I accidentally go out of my lines, am I going to worry about it? No, I can just take some paper, put it on the top, put them on the bottom and go. I like the palette painting. I like having that beautiful color that gradiates up. I, I like that. I like it softer. It's not so marker. Hello, I'm a marker. No, it's much, much, much softer. But yes, you can go straight on top of the card base itself. Why not? Absolutely. The dies are pretty cool. The dies are really, really cool. The glitter markers, I like the colors. I like that they're not so glittery. I mean, we have something called Just Glitter, which is by um, Marvi Yoshida. And those are wow glitter markers. If you're looking for wow glitter markers, the Just Glitter markers are that. These are a little more subtle. They're more of a shimmer than a wow. And the, the dual tip, you know, there's lots of companies that make dual tip markers. These just happen to be a really great quality for a really, really great price. When you're getting 30 markers for 20 bucks, and then if you do the I want it all, it's even cheaper because we bundled it together with the glitters and the fine liners. You know, these are brand new. It's the it's the Violet Studios collection from Crafters Companion. They're here first. You're not going to find them anywhere else, at least not here in the States. I've got these markers absolutely everywhere. And then you pair it up with the dies. I mean, wow, that's a wow, right? Gosh, I don't know where all my other ones are. There's my friend that I didn't finish and somewhere I've got my love, the loved one that I didn't finish somewhere here, but that's okay. I've got great samples for you. Oh, with love. You're basically done and they come with the stamps and it's up to you whether you want to use colored pencils. Now these are not watercolor pencils. These are colored pencils along with some Gamsol. And even if you already have Gamsol, I highly recommend the, the toolkit. The toolkit is pretty flipping rock star. You just put everything away. I don't know what I do with my sharpener, but I'll find it when I do. I'll put my sharpener away. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Oh wait, right there put my sharpener away and I am ready to go for the next time. Ready to go. Zoop. There we go. Love that. I don't know. I think everything just works so well together. And again, the thank you die, the thank you die is only coming with the bundles of the, I want it all bundle of the Sizzix card bases and we picked the card bases. See, we picked the card bases <laughs> based on <laughs> the colors of the paper that are in the two paper pads that the girls used for most of the samples. I don't know you guys, it's easy, it's effective, it's affordable, it's fun, it's it it, it makes you look so good and yet it is just so simple whether you die cut into a card base and then cover over the top whether you start with white paper and you hand color with the markers whether you go ahead and you do ombre up and have all different colors and then a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of shine going on there or you take them and you make an entire card front out of it. So I think, like I said, I think they retail for $13 each, which isn't bad when you're talking about getting a die 
and a stamp set to coordinate. So this, the finishing sentiment. You're not just getting birthday, you're getting happy and um, on your and um, let's see. I'm trying to see where the birthday ones are. But when you're getting the entire sentiment, did I move birthday over here? Thank you, friend, birthday. So birthday you get wishing you a happy, wishing you a happy birthday. You could put that on the inside. Um, happy birthday, eat all the cake. Wishes are sent to you. So there are the dies, or the stamps to go with it. So when you're getting the die and the stamp for $13, that's a great value, it is. But when you're getting the die and the stamp and we've got it on sale, that's even a better value. And again, I think I think it's the five packs, the birthday and the with love and the my friend and the celebrate and the just to say all of it for $39.99. Wahoo could chew. So I might as well just tell you what's on sale since we're, I might as well just do that. Then we've got the two paper pads that we were using and we just are bringing these in only because the girls used them on the samples. So we've got those for you. I've got the Spectrum Noir um, colored pencil kit if you need. If you don't have Gamsol, we're gonna have, we'll have their Gamsol and we'll have the Inky Antics. Remember Inky Antics comes with a little bit of a foam top. This one, I just punched a little hole in and I would put it some, some com balls in there and just kind of splash a few dots on it. This way, by not taking off the seal, I'm gonna keep it from evaporating, keep it nice and tight. So we've got that for you. I have in the markers. So if you just wanna try the markers and you wanna pick a set, we've got both of these and they're just gonna be at regular price, which I wanna say is like $9.99. You pick the one you want, there's not gonna be any additional discount. But if you, and of course we'll have the glitter markers for sale, or they'll just be at a regular price. And we'll have the fine liners, which I think are like $7.99. And then the 30 pack is $19.99. But then we'll do an I want it all where you get the fine liners, the glitter, and the 30 pack for a smoking hot deal. And then last but not least, we'll do, we have the, we'll have open stock on the envelopes in case you need them and you just want the purple or you just want the really pretty blue. But if you do the I want it all on it, we're gonna include the thank you. That one's not thank you. This one's thank you. We're gonna include the thank you die for free. That's a lot, right? And then we'll put our Brunzil colored pencils on sale as well for you, just in case you don't have colored pencils. So we have everything from a 24 to a 36. We have a 12, we have neon colors, we have the metallic colors. Um, here's the 24 pack. I've been using the 36 today. So we'll put Brunzil on sale for you as well. Okay, let's do samples. Wow, that was a lot. That was a lot. Let's do samples. And I have got a mess. Holy smokes, artichokes. Okay, so. Celebrate. In style. That's using the Christmas plaid from Creative Expressions. And then here they used the markers just as markers. And then they took the glitter markers and went in and did all the little dots because it's got that shimmer. And here they took Versamark <laughs> and embossed the birthday with embossing powder, all the different things you can do. And look at celebrate. Just cut right into it and backed. So the paper is backed. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Just cut right into the paper and backed. 
and here thank you again now that is with uh, that's definitely embossing powder on top of there and see just the little lines to cover any little oopsies up isn't that beautiful and then happy birthday And with love, and just to say, and here with an embossing folder as the background, and then just to say, and two little strips of something just to cover up the, the little, any, any little extra white that they, you know, the frame. So just, just to cover up the tops and the bottoms of where you cut it out. And then we have, oh, the ones I showed you, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Well, you saw how I did that. I did that with birthday, birthday, birthday. And my friend. And birthday that is completely cut into the card. And here we have. Happy birthday. And just those little strips. And a thank you. And that's using the other creative expressions paper. What is it called? We've got the Christmas gingham. Oh, dandelion dreams. Mm-hmm. This one's using the Dandelion Dreams. And with love. Celebrate in style. Just to say you are amazing. Happy birthday from all of us. And look at the birthday is slightly off center, so it creates its own little shadow. My friend. And these are done with the dual tip pens and some water. Oh, look at this one. They took the thank you die and the my friend die and bam. <laughs> Wow, that was really clever. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Holy smokes. Thank you, my friend, for everything you do. That's pretty wonderful. All right, you guys. I'm excited that Crafter's Companion is back at SMS. I'm excited that Kimberly is my new Crafter's Companion boss. <laughs> I am sure she is missed at Hero Arts, but I am excited for her new adventures and where it is she thinks she can help us bring you just the most creative and crafty and affordable products that do what they say they're going to do and do it beautifully. So like my dad said, I need you, you know, you you got to be prepared. You got to respond. You got to figure it out. And, um, and you know, he wasn't necessarily happy with his new boss, but, but that pushed him to take the steps to be more, to do more, to try more, to, to raise himself up. And maybe by having crafters companion back at scrapbooking made simple, all of a sudden, well, you know, it brings a new energy because it's new things and it's new adventures and I can't wait to share them with you. So we're, we're excited and thank you, Kimberly, for everything you did and um, for all of this product. Well, you can find the Crafters Companion product. Yes, you can find 
it is um, it's the Gemini dies and they are available elsewhere absolutely so if you have an independent retailer and they have them buy them from them absolutely we have them on uh, on a YouTube yummies if that makes your heart happy great but if you are lucky enough to still have a store go visit them the markers the markers are at such a good price they are so value right Hmm. We are the first ones to have them, and those you'll have to find here only for a while. We're going to have them for a little bit. Um, the Spectrum Noir, maybe your local store has this in stock. Go, go get it from them, absolutely. And the Sizzix cards and card bases, 10 envelopes, 10 cards, $4.99, unless you do the I Want It All. And if you do the I Want It All, we're going to give you that thank you die for free. <laughs> So you choose where you want to sprinkle a little bit of your money here and a little bit of your money there and um, supporting, supporting any craft store or any paper crafting store or stamping store is so appreciated by all of us because if we, if we all, if everybody sprinkles a little bit here and a little bit there, then we all get to stay in business. And that's so important right now. All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Just saying thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing the time with me. Thank you for encouraging me and, and letting me be me and being just as excited about new products and new manufacturers and old manufacturers that become new manufacturers again. I'll see you next week. Bye.